Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're taking a look at Acronis True Image 2020. It's their latest edition and uh, we're going to be taking a full look at what it has to offer and some of the new features that they've added to their software. Now if you've not got a backup solution then Acronis True Image 2020 is a really good buy. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, backup solution that you can get today in 2019. Now this is not just a backup solution, this is also an anti-ransomware protection uh, software as well which actually protects you from ransomware attacks and ransomware is on the rise and it is really nasty if you get hit with a uh, crypto ransomware it will get onto your system and encrypt all your data and without protection your data is then held to ransom by the cyber criminal who holds the key and basically he can demand whatever he likes and there's no guarantee that you'll get your data back and this is the problem with ransomware as you've seen I've done many videos on ransomware and how nasty it is so stay protected and use something like the Cronus True Image 2020 to back up your data and keep you safe from ransomware so let's take a look we've got a quick start guide here and it's got a nice uh, easy to follow steps here you can just push these little next buttons and it tells you how to use a Cronus True Image they really do go that extra mile to show you how to use their software and it's simple to use I've never seen a more simpler piece of software uh, to create backups of your data so let's go ahead and start the application for the first time and we'll go through and take a good look at the actual software itself so you can see here you're going to have to agree to their terms and conditions you can participate in the Acronis customer experience program if you wish I'm just going to leave that tick out for this uh, tutorial um, click OK here and this will be the screen that you're going to get now if you're a previous user uh, you will just be able to sign in and it will activate uh, your software uh, if you're if you're not a previous uh, user of Acronis then you will need to create an account and put in your details and log in and it will basically uh, take you through the process there of activating your software it's pretty straightforward and easy to do but once you've got got it all activated you're good to go and you've got an account set up you're pretty much good to go from there so let's take a look at uh, what we have to offer here so they've got this little uh, system here where you can go through and click next and it tells you exactly what they have to offer um, so you've got your first slider which is your full image backup so this is to protect everything with a mirror image of your entire system including your operating system files applications and configurations and settings you also have active disk cloning this makes an exact replica of your active windows system without having to stop and reboot from the operating system to your programs and your files and all your preferences it's pretty straightforward and easy to do uh, click on next here I'm just you can skip this I just wanted to show you You've got Acronis active protection as well and Acronis is the only personal backup solution that uses AI to stop ransomware and cyber jacking in real time in 2020 which is a real added feature it really is because if you get hit with ransomware it's not good and uh, at least you've got some sort of safety net with Acronis True Image 2020 now you can go through those sliders yourself I'm just going to skip those and get into the program um, just to speed things up a little bit but you've got plenty of information there to go through we'll take a look at some of the newer features as well you've got your backup activity and recovery up the top which is pretty much self-explanatory and uh, you've got your source here which is what you want to back up so you've got your desktop here and you've got your destination it's pretty simple really you click on the destination it lets you back up to the cloud with free five terabytes of space you've also got the ability to back up to your external drive as well if you want to do that and you can also browse to set a custom location for your backups if you want to do that as well and this can be to a NAS drive or any of those types of locations now on the on the uh, left hand side here you can see let me go back here you can see we've got add a backup you can add an existing backup and you can add a, a backup there and up the top here let me just come out of this a second come back here now up the top here you can rename these they'll be listed all down here which means you can name this uh, living room computer laptop 
uh, all this sort of stuff down here phone and it would all be listed down there so it's easy to uh, see let's move on to the uh, archive section here so you can archive all your large and old files this is to free up disk space by moving all your large and old files from your PC to an existing drive or into the cloud this is how it works it analyzes your files select the files and choose the archive location and then it will archive the selected files and enjoy the free space that you're going to have on your drive this also allows encryption for your archives which will be 256-bit AES and also you can pick up the data center to choose near you which means you're going to get faster upload speeds to the cloud which could be uh, in your local area say for instance England or France or America or wherever it is you're based wherever their servers are which will speed things up a little bit you can easily access all your archives you can access your archive files from a Cronus drive or from file explorer or your web browser anywhere in the world on any device there that you got it installed on you can sync using your Clonus cloud to syn synchronize your files and folders between your PCs with a Cronus true image where it's ever installed whether it be on a phone or whether it be on your uh, PC or laptop whatever it is you're installing it on so in the tools section here we've got clone disk and we've got rescue media builder now rescue media builder is a really important part of uh, backing up and also restoring data because if your PC becomes non-bootable you can use the rescue media builder to help restore your data or even back up your data from that location now you've got these little information tabs which give you information you can see here rescue media create a bootable media so that you can recover your computer when it becomes unbootable clone disk this utility helps you uh, clone your operating system applications and data to a new disk the new disk will be identical of your old uh, one and the system bootability will be kept you've also got parallels access access your remote computer from mobile devices using the parallel access you have got try and decide as well uh, perform an unsafe operation in try mode and then decide whether you want to keep it system cleanup wipe your computer uh, usage history including passwords and other data on that drive using their system cleanup utility you've got also a Cronus secure zone a special protective partition for storing backups of your disk a Cronus drive cleanser this uh, permanently destroys all the data on your old partitions and uh, cleans the whole drive which is a nice little added feature here and third-party tools additional helpful tools developed by Cronus to help their customers so you've also got all your tools in one location which you can do here by clicking on this this will show you all the tools that I have available and this is just like shortcut links to those tools as you can see here so very useful and handy and now let's close this off so let's move on to the active protection this is to protect your data from ransomware and this is probably one of the only uh, backup solutions that I know that I've uh, you know ransomware protection built into it which is a really added bonus because it will protect you uh, and your business uh, data from being encrypted by crypto ransomware which is not nice and I've seen it happen quite a lot over the years so you've got your protection tab here and you've got your uh, activity and your managing processes here and these will all be listed here if anything happens uh, to your system during that process uh, it will show up here You've got your uh, settings area here. This is to automatically recover files after being blocked by a process. And you can have this tick in here if you wish. You've also got uh, protect backup from uh, ransomware. Ask to move potential threats to quarantine experimental. And uh, you can put that in there. And protect network shares and NAS drives. If you're on the network, you can uh, put that in there if you wish. And then protect your computer from it is it crypto mining I think that's how you pronounce it but basically that's what that will do right there so let's move on to the exclusions so you've got no exclusions set so far and this will be exclude folders and exclude uh, by mask so let's go back here and uh, let's go into the account this will have your account information and uh, go into your settings here now the settings will be your interface language and you can see here uh, Wi-Fi backup as well and you've got a bunch of other information like mobile backup location and some other bits and pieces inside there now also uh, in the help section you've got about help and of course 
what's new and let's take a look at the what's new so inside here Acronis release new features every time this is improved backup technology now Acronis new technology for full image backup saves precious space uh, due to their new modern data duplication algorithms which speeds up uh, already uh, been independently proven to be the fastest backup solution on the market and basically we all uh, duplicate data sometimes and obviously Acronis knows when you've got uh, these files already on the system and it obviously will notify you that you've got duplicates here and you won't need to back them up uh, and that's a really good uh, sort of technology that they've implemented into their uh, software so they've also implemented dual protection which is their replicate local backups in the cloud automatically so you always have an off-site uh, copy available for recovery and this maximizes the protection of their 321 backup strategy without managing the two plans the backup and the replication occur simultaneously you also have enhanced um, ransomware defense now also Acronis have claimed that they've stopped more than 400,000 attacks last year with their enhanced and integrated AI powered defense against ransomware now if you're not familiar with um, crypto ransomware then you need to read up about it because it's a really big deal and if you run a business or a small business and you get hit with ransomware it could literally uh, cripple that company um, without any sort of proper protection and the good thing with Acronis you can do backups and protect at the same time which is an awesome uh, way to uh, protect your data They've also added in the Train Notification Center. This helps you stay informed about your system and your files and your protection. Notifications are now pushed to the desktop tray, allowing users to monitor the status of their backups more easily and resolve issues more quick, quickly. And this helps you stay uh, protected a lot more better. They also have an online help section which allows you to get answers for the most commonly asked questions that you may have. Let's go back to the backup section here. I just want to check out the uh, schedule section, which is under the options tab, which allows you to set up a, a schedule for your backups. And you can do this daily, weekly, monthly, upon event or nonstop or do not uh, schedule at all. So it's entirely up to you which way you do this. You've got an advanced section here, which allows you to do a bunch of stuff like wake up the sleeping uh, computer and hibernation computer. You can also prevent the computer from going to sleep or hibernate and a bunch of other stuff you can set these as Monday to Sunday or every single day it's entirely up to you and you can set the notifications area which is for your emails and this will be all your email uh, server settings here so they can send you notifications of how your uh, backup uh, schedules are going and uh, basically uh, you've got the exclusions and you can add more exclusions in here if you wish if you don't wish to back up certain stuff you can just add them to the exclusions list and that's easily done by just copying what they've already got there just put the location in there and you've got the advanced area here which is for your computer shutdown and also uh, for your Acronis cloud cleanup this will allow you to clean up the uh, Acronis cloud area then you've got the backup protection which allows you to put in the um, encryption on your uh, archives and on your backups if you wish if you want to use that you can do and you've also got your performance and network and your data center which is where you would obviously uh, click the closest to you so in this case it will be France uh, so you can uh, get much faster upload speeds and the operating priority you can set to whatever you like depending on how busy your network is if you're doing this at night time when no one's on I would give it high uh, priority at night time and this will help speed up the process as well and you can set off uh, the Acronis cloud cleanup here and your computer shutdown right here very simple and easy to do anyway I think we're coming to the end of this overview of the Acronis True Image 2020 it's an awesome product it's the product I use on a daily basis and if you want to get uh, a good backup solution then check out the Acronis True Image 2020 I'll leave all the information in the video description for you if you want to see more on this product let me know in the comments section below my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos